is it possible to get personal satisfaction by being a private money lender? And the answer is yes. And I want to explain to you a couple of scenarios, and this could be a very powerful motivator uh, for you uh, as you consider being a private money lender. Uh, so just think about uh, the fact that investors are out there doing real estate deals and improving properties and bringing uh, property to market either for rent or for sale uh, to meet the housing needs in the community. Uh, so this is very powerful uh, on a personal level as well as the economics of, of housing. Uh, so here in the Atlanta market, there's really a, a need for more housing. Uh, new home construction uh, really should be taking place at a, at a higher level or at a greater volume. And uh, it's not happening right now. And uh, it's going to take years, according to the National Association of Realtors. It's going to, the, the chief economist Lawrence Yoon um, has mentioned this, that it's going to take years for uh, new home construction to catch up with demand. And so investors are playing a key role right now in bringing housing to market to meet the demand. And it's very frustrating for people to be out there, they're qualified to buy a home, and there's just not, the, not enough uh, inventory available to meet their needs. So real estate investors are out there fixing up homes, older homes, uh, the average uh, age of uh, single-family homes in the United States is somewhere between 35 and 38 eight years, somewhere in that range. Uh, and that, uh, that average age of housing in the United States just keeps increasing every year. So this is putting great demand on the, uh, the need to renovate and rehabilitate older single family houses. And, and this is what I do. This is the space that I function in. And as we do that, for every project that we do, we're bringing uh, to the market a property, a house uh, that's available in like new condition for a family to buy at a price that is lower than it would cost to newly construct a similar house. And so we're, uh, we're doing like a great service, providing a great service and a great opportunity for uh, new families uh, to have adequate housing, uh, to get their family started and to raise their family and to live in an area close to where they work at a price that it is economically feasible for them. So as a private money lender, you can gain great satisfaction in knowing that your money is being put to use to bring housing, adequate housing, uh, to buyers who are in desperate need of uh, good housing. And then on the, another level, as a private money lender, you can really uh, participate in the personal growth and get satisfaction of helping a, an investor, a local investor, develop their career in real estate investing. For example, I know a lot of investors who are very good at what they do, uh, maybe they're experts in the in the um, home building industry. They're licensed contractors, uh, or they are property management uh, managers, or they are real estate agents, and they have limited access to capital, and they don't yet know the world of private money lending, and uh, they're limited on what they can do. They, their experience far exceeds their uh, ability to access capital. If they had more access to capital, they could do more deals, uh, which would benefit uh, people uh, needing housing, but also benefits the investor greatly. Uh, but they're stuck because they can't get access to capital. And this is where you, as a private money lender, can fill a gap and provide a great need, get a great return on your investment. Your investment's secured by a, the hard asset of real estate, and if, as you develop a relationship with one or more local investors, uh, you can get the personal satisfaction of seeing uh, them grow, seeing uh, their business grow. And I find that people that, that have capital and want to get a better return on their investment, uh, it may not just always be about the numbers. Now, the numbers are important, and you, know, you don't want to invest in something that's a poor return on investment, uh, unless you want to just run a charity, but this is an investment for you as well. And so you can combine those two things of getting a great return on your investment, which is your primarily 
primary starting goal maybe, but you can also link that with uh, gaining personal satisfaction that your money is being put uh, to a use that really you find that that's just a good use of your money. Uh, so that's a win-win scenario. In other words, you may not want to put your money into uh, uh, cryptocurrency or antique cars because you don't have a knowledge or a passion for those things, but you really love the idea of providing adequate housing and fill, f filling a real need in the housing industry for more adequate housing. Uh, for first-time home buyers, as an example, you can gain great satisfaction uh, by being a money lender uh, in uh, these types of deals. So, anyway, I wanted to end this series on that note of how being a private money lender uh, is not only economically uh, uh, smart on your part, uh, but you can really feel good about uh, the use of your money.